Dragon Ball The Breakers is an online multiplayer game that plays a lot like Dead by Daylight. Except you can actually fight back against your would-be killer. It's surprisingly a lot of fun for such a strange blend of Dragon Ball meets Dead by Daylight. No! Why didn't it work? No! <laughs> And so I decided to take on the daunting task of hunting down the Platinum Trophy. Now I realize that a lot of people have gotten the Platinum since this game actually came out. And the reason for that is definitely because this game is actually not all that difficult to Platinum if you're playing with a group of friends. However, for all intents and purposes, this was meant to be more of a self-challenge that I wanted to take on mostly on my own. And it's for that reason that I'm going to be attempting to get all the trophies in this game flying solo. And without using the assistance from boosting them with friends. Now because of the online nature of this game, this could potentially make trophy hunting in it a real nightmare. Since playing with other human players can impact how easy or difficult it is for trophies to be earned, as are most online game platinum trophies. Oh no, I could aim to that better. Oh no. <laughs> no! Ah, no! <laughs> no, no, no! Needless to say, a lot of my patience were tested during my time with this game. This game has its fair share of straightforward trophies that simply require you to play the game normally, which is all fine and dandy. However, once you attempt to go for the more specific trophies, this game becomes a real pain in the ass. There was a trophy to win a match having every player survive by the end of the match, which required me to be matched up with a dog shit raider. So I kind of had to get lucky in that regard. I got a trophy. Nice. Wait, did we all live? There was a guy who was down and we were picking him up, but I don't know if that counts as he survived. And there was a trophy for me to kill every single survivor while playing as the Raider, which required me to be good enough at the game to do so. Thankfully, playing as the Raider is my absolute favorite thing about this game, and so it didn't take me very long to get pretty good at it. Bitch! Ain't getting away. I finally had the perfect Raider game. No one got away. But then there were much more pain in the ass trophies, like escaping in the time machine with three or more other players. This happened very rarely, so this one took me quite a while to get. Especially since I wasn't coordinating with my teammates, so I basically had to be in the right place at the right time. So this obviously required some luck. Hey, do you guys want to escape with me? Aw, oh, fuck. Damn it! How the hell did this guy beat me to it? Wait, does this count? Tell me that counts. I don't know if that counted. Yes, it counted! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy that that one's done. Thank God. Landing a vanishing attack on your opponent when they're going for a super attack was also extremely annoying because if your opponent just decides to never throw out a super attack, then you'll end up looking foolish and getting rinsed. Yes! Got one of the annoying fucking trophies. And there were two separate trophies to attack the raider while he's destroying the time machine in both human form. Bitch! <laughs> I got the trophy, yes! As well as during a dragon change. However, the problem with this trophy is if the raider is always on high alert, he could just let go of holding the triangle button at any moment before you hit him, and you will once again look foolish and get clapped. Why did you have to- Can you fucking destroy the machine, bitch? Ah, fuck you, man! I still- 
Yeah, I, I just wanted to fly up and punch him in my dragon change because I still don't fucking have that trophy. And that stupid dickhead immediately comes off the machine and he doesn't let me do it. We're literally about to win. Please try to destroy the fucking machine. Please. <gasps> yes, oh. He was, but then he came off. Oh, wait. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, what? No! Ah! He was doing it, but then we won. Ah! Fuck! Yes, I finally got it. Yeah! Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Making a purchase at a vending machine a total of six times in one match was also very annoying because most of the time the match would end before I could gather the necessary funds. Oh my god, I literally just need to find a bit more Zenny and then I can have the trophy. I'm gonna be so fucking sad if I don't find the Zenny or anything. No, I was so close. No. I just needed one more. Oh, that trophy's so hard to get, man. Oh, I'm trying to find more fucking money, dude. I can't find it. How fucking tall is this building? Oh, god damn it. I thought there was a fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. No, I can't find any money! No, I need one more! Ah! Please have money. Please have money. Oh my god, I keep coming so close, but I just can't quite get it. Oh my god! <laughs> I love our teammate! <laughs> He made Raccoon! <laughs> Raccoon! No, Raccoon, my boy! I'm looking for money, though. I hate how long it's taking me to get this one. Oh, I found more money! Oh, I might actually be able to get it. This dickhead doesn't fucking kill me first. Shit, I gotta hurry. We're winning so fast. Oh, I need to find a vending machine. This one took me quite a while, but after enough matches went by of me ignoring objectives as well as teammates, while I searched for more Zenny, I eventually got it. <gasps> Did I get it? Yeah! Fucking finally, dude! That one was hard as shit! Oh my god, I'm so happy. However, as annoying as all these trophies were to get, none of them held a candle to the next trophy that I would attempt. Next up, I had to make a wish using the Dragon Balls. And in order to do this, you naturally have to collect all seven of the Dragon Balls that could be found randomly throughout the treasure chests scattered all over the map. This can be made easier by locating a Dragon Radar, which when viewed will show the exact location of nearby Dragon Balls. However, you have to be relatively close to them before they actually show up on screen, which means you're going to be doing a lot of running around. The problem with this trophy is that finding all seven of the Dragon Balls by yourself is almost virtually impossible when six other players on your team are doing the exact same thing. And since the balls can randomly spawn anywhere, sometimes you'll just get unlucky and you won't find them at all before your teammates do. If that wasn't already annoying as fuck, the raider can also find and locate the Dragon Balls. If he downs a survivor that's holding Dragon Balls currently, he could just swipe them for himself, and then the only way to get the Dragon Balls back from him would be to hit him with an attack. However, if the raider is a higher level than you, or you're attacking him by yourself, he could just easily kill you and then move the fuck along, since the raider is extremely powerful. Now, it's basically an unwritten rule, as well as a common courtesy, to forfeit all the Dragon Balls you've collected to the person that has collected the most of them. You can at least fucking help me do it instead of being an impatient bitch. God, what a fucking asshole. 
However, if a player decides not to follow this courtesy, he can just decide to fuck you out of making a wish if he's stubborn. So I had to pray that my teammates would be kind enough to surrender their Dragon Balls. Uh, this guy's chasing me, shooting me, expecting me to drop it. Oh, I didn't plan to. That guy's the other four, of course he does. And here he comes, no doubt to follow me around and expect me to drop them. The oh nice, he gave him to me! Many times I had to be the asshole who wouldn't give it up. Which felt really shitty because I don't want to be that guy who actively screws people over. But if I didn't choose to do this, I would have never even had a chance at getting this trophy. So unfortunately I had to play like a scumbag. Finally, after playing so many matches like this, I was able to make a wish and get this annoying trophy. However, if this wasn't bad enough, there was also a trophy in this game to defeat the raider with an attack during an ultimate dragon change. Basically, the survivors are able to transform into their favorite Z fighters in order to fight back against the raider. However, you could only access the ultimate dragon change by making a wish. And there's no other way to possibly access this form, which meant that the ability to do so was locked behind the Dragon Balls. This trophy was without a doubt one of the absolute hardest trophies to get in the game, because so many things could go wrong. Even though Ultimate Dragon Change is extremely powerful, the Raider can still kick your ass if he outplays you, or if you just decide to fight him by yourself. Wow. I made the wish and went level 4? He's level 3? He hit me once and knocked off, like, 80% of my bar. Like, I didn't stand a fucking chance. He annihilated me. And he's down a level. Oh, I hate that I still haven't done it, man. Jesus Christ. I, and I hate being such a bitch, too. I genuinely feel bad. Because, uh, my teammate had... Six Dragon Balls, and I had one, and I have to be the little asshole who forces him to give it up just because I need this fucking achievement. Like, I don't want to be an asshole, but I have to if I'm ever going to do it. And then I immediately transform, blow it. He probably thought I was the biggest asshole ever. This meant that it was more ideal for me to fight him alongside my teammates, which meant we had to be coordinated enough to plan out this attack. I attempted many times to get this trophy, however, this trophy demands that I personally be the one to deliver the finishing blow to the Raider, and my teammates were just not having it. I freaking hope nothing goes wrong this time, I mean, he's level 2. Oh, I need to make sure I'm the one who kills him. Do we I don't know if I was the one who killed him. Everyone was hitting him. Guess we'll freaking find out. Please tell me I was the one who fucking hit him. I think someone else beat me to it. Oh, like, holy fuck. I, I can't believe how difficult it is for me to get this fucking trophy. Like, jeez, every time I've ever fought the Raider, it was just me by myself. That time everyone helped, but it fucked me. God damn, man. Man, that sucks, dude. And in the heat of the moment, it's so stressful, like, I probably could have been a little more patient and timed my attack better, but I was just so worried that someone was going to beat me to it. Well, he's level 2, so I should have a good chance at this. Nice. Thanks for the assist. Not yet. Oh, someone might have beat me to it. I meleeed him, he lived with a dick hair, and I, I think my teammate beamed him. Literally the exact same thing that happened last game. Ugh, like, you gotta be shitting me, man. No way I got fucked over the exact same way twice in a row, man. Not just once, but several times my teammates managed to snipe the raider just before I could finish him off. And this was absolutely infuriating. Especially given the fact of how hard it was to even make a wish in the first place. This meant that I would have to gather all seven Dragon Balls again just to have another shot at failing.
I see a bunch of them have level 3 form change, so I'm gonna, like, really try to wait to last hit. Oh, he's, his health's dropping fast. Okay, everyone has finished their form change. Come on. Please, 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 please give it to me. Please tell me that was mine. Please. Some dickhead was beaming him over and over, but I don't know. I, I, like, that has to be mine, right? I timed my melee perfectly. There's no fucking trophy popping. Are you shitting me? There's no way the random beat me to it. There's no way. This isn't happening. This isn't possible, dude. That's just so fucking crazy to me that I'm in the middle of landing the finishing blow and he could just snake it from me while I'm doing it. And, and how unbelievable is it? The fucking timing on that guy. It, I would honestly believe that he was setting out to fuck me over. Like, the, the timing was that ridiculously good. He just sniped him out of my combo, man. Unreal. I went so far out of my way to make sure that I was last hitting, too. Holy fuck. I, I even waited for all our teammates' form changes to end. Obtaining this trophy began to seem like an impossible task. And after several attempts to get this trophy completely fairly, I finally gave up and said, fuck it. Then I decided to call in some backup. What happened next was absolutely some degenerate level of sabotage. Basically, I just kept playing matches alongside a friend of mine until he eventually became the raider. I really hope you fucking destroy this game. And then, in a team effort, we proceeded to bend over everyone in the match without their consent and absolutely fuck them in the asses. I spawned with two people, and I'm in B near Frieza's ship. Yeah, he's on like the edge of Frieza's ship. Look for me. He's in this cave over here. <laughs> it's gotta get done, baby. Lorma's <laughs> so, so funny, he just tackles you, he's like, <laughs> At any given opportunity, I would shout out to my friend, playing as the raider, the exact whereabouts of all of my teammates. And I would watch as he would oh so satisfyingly hunt them down, one by one, and murder them. Over here, Brother Mythic. He's just standing still. Um, he's, uh, in A. Like, on the back wall, near the edge of the map. I didn't give my teammates any time to gather supplies in order to fight back, as my real teammate would ruthlessly pursue them without mercy. And I was loving every second of it. As I should be. That guy you're fighting has two Dragon Balls. Oh, Um... Yeah, I'm trying not to. There we go. Yeah, the guy you killed originally. They're picking him up. Yep. I'm like... Yeah, the cave below me. The cave below me. He's in there. My fellow survivors watched in utter horror as I danced on their corpses and claimed their Dragon Balls for myself, letting them know how pointless their efforts would be. By the time my teammates realized what was going on, they couldn't do anything to stop it. Oh, I, uh... Fuck, six. I need one more Dragon Ball. I don't know how we're gonna find the next Dragon Ball, though. Like, we only have seven minutes, 44 seconds. We need to find a radar. I'm in B. Dragon radar. I just found... Oh, fuck, I picked it up by accident. I should've let you have it. Oh, I see it. He's right up ahead of me in the tunnel. Like, or under that little archway. On your left. Okay, I got all the Dragon Balls. Eventually, I finally had all the Dragon Balls, and I made my wish. Then I flew around the map with my new best buddy as we tracked down the remaining survivors and put them out of their misery. He's up ahead in the city, making a run for it on foot. Set up traps, don't walk into them. Oh. 
He's right here. I'm uh, above him. Excellent. Good shit, dude. Alright, let's go. With nobody left to possibly fuck me out of the trophy, my friend would simply remove his hands from the controller as I proceeded to beat him down with no one to contest me. It was beautiful. Therapeutic, even. Once I delivered the final blow, that godforsaken trophy finally popped, and I relished in that sweet release. Finally, I was free to play this game like a normal human being and actually have some fun. Fucking finally. Thank you, dude. Oh my god, that felt so good watching you fucking kill every savage degenerate on my team. Holy fuck, that felt good. And me ratting them out at every turn. Especially when you were- when you were executing that guy in the cave, I run up, grab his Dragon Balls, and casually walk down. <laughs> that was so good. I, I- I hoped they were seeing that. And I hope they know why it was happening. No, I wanted them to know, like, this is happening because you fucks won't let me get it, man. Well, that well, that's uh, very comforting to know that, like, I can pretty much just chill now. There's no trophies to really stress about. The worst was now behind me, or at least so I thought. Turns out this game has another trophy that would quite effectively gatekeep me from ever obtaining the Platinum Trophy. And that trophy required me to destroy an area and down two survivors in the process. Basically, whenever you would form change while playing as the Raider, you are given access to a one-time use attack. That allows you to completely wipe out a section on the map. And I would have to down two survivors using this attack. The people who already have this trophy have no clue how fucking lucky they got in order for this to happen. Basically, if you're playing as a survivor and the raider is about to use this attack, the game starts doing everything in its power to let the survivors know that they probably shouldn't stick around. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> as if the flashing red lights and the alarms going off didn't make it completely obvious to the survivor to haul ass out of there, the survivor will also receive greatly increased movement speed in order to help them escape. Basically, as long as the survivors have a brain stem, this attack is never going to down anybody, let alone two fucking people. When attempting this trophy, you're basically hoping to God that they are literal apes on the other ends of those controllers. Not once in my close to 30 hours and over 100 matches on this game did I ever come close to having this happen organically. This trophy quite literally has to be boosted with a minimum of two friends playing with you. Otherwise, I just don't see how anyone would ever possibly get the Platinum. Now, luckily, I am fortunate enough to have two friends that were genuinely interested in this game, and so we were able to coordinate having both my friends stand in the territory, they would tell me where they were, and I was able to get the trophy and down both of them. Yeah, when I when I get the ability, I'll let you guys know, and then we could coordinate it. Wait, so where- did you guys decide where you're going? Perfect. Uh, e, you said, right? Thank you. Now I'm gonna actively avoid downing people and- let me know when you guys are up and then I'll start downing people again. I'd also like to point out that their teammates were complete fucking assholes that didn't even bother to pick them up, they just let them die. And I felt really bad that their match was ruined, because not only is this trophy so terribly designed, but their asshole teammates just had to salt the wound. Did they not pick you guys up? 
Oh, for fuck's sakes, what assholes. I'm sorry that happened, guys. I, 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 was, I wasn't even shooting anyone. But thank God for my two friends that actually bought this game and played it with me. Because otherwise, I don't think I ever would have platinumed this game. And a big shout out to my fucking friends for being such god gamers. Holy shit, this guy just got four downs. Oh my god, he just got the trophy. If he didn't have it already. This guy has no idea how fucking lucky he is. That's insane, dude. With the two hardest trophies in the game out of the way, all I had left to do was to grind out the rest of my 50 Raider matches, as well as gather enough materials to max out any skill for both the Survivor and the Raider. And once I did that, I would finally have my Platinum Trophy. Now that being said, I played match after match trying to grind out more and more Raider games, and it just started feeling like an absolute slog. Now there used to be a way to make matches go by extremely fast. You used to be able to join a game and instantly disconnect from it, and once you were sent back to the lobby, your priority in order to become the raider for the next game would go up by one. So essentially if you just disconnected five or six matches in a row, you would eventually get the raider guaranteed. However, the developers took notice of this behavior and obviously, this is not something that they want to support in their online game, as it ruins the match for all the survivors, and overall makes for a less fun experience for everyone. So now they're starting to punish people by suspending accounts, either temporarily or permanently. And because of this, I obviously can't take my chances with disconnecting, it's too risky, and I don't want to get locked out of my Platinum. However, I did discover another workaround that still gets you out of the match relatively quickly, however it's nowhere near as efficient. Still, it does speed up the process quite a bit. Basically, I spent the rest of my Survivor games joining matches and seeking out the Raider immediately as soon as I gained control of my character and basically running at him and killing myself. And if he downed and executed me twice, that would allow me to withdraw from the game penalty free. <laughs> oh shit! Who put that fence there? Oh my god. <laughs> no! Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that was fucking funny, dude. God damn. I was still a bit nervous doing this because I wasn't quite sure how anal the development team would spectate games and see if this kind of behavior was still going on. So I was a little nervous and scared doing this, but I ended up spending almost virtually all of my Survivor games doing this without being reprimanded. Now, will this be a reliable, trustworthy strategy in the future? I don't know. They might come down harder on this shit the more and more they learn about it. So I don't know how viable this will be as time goes on. But nonetheless, I'm choosing to get away with it as much as I can now before the dev team drops the hammer. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, I could do this all day! No! <laughs> I never tried geeking the raider in that spot. That was really funny. Sky hates. Oh my god, dude, can you get decent at the game, please? I pissed him off so much, he's actively avoiding me. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm just trying to make it look like I'm not trolling. Can you, like, not suck absolute ass? Please? Look at this shit. I literally have to chase him down. Oh, come on! <laughs> Why didn't my fucking solar flare work, man? Yeah, he was standing- oh, it's because he wasn't facing me. I forgot they made all the shit in this game, like, lore accurate. 
I can't believe how long I've been following this guy with with no fucking with no punishment. <laughs> this is insane! Oh my god, finally! Jesus! I thought he'd never kill me! Oh, now he's BMing me. Come on, dude! Really? That's the worst thing he could have did! You actually did BM me! He fucking downed me and left me! Are you shitting me? He's actually gonna forfeit the energy he would gain from executing me? Just to leave me down on the floor. What a fucking prick, dude. Oh my god. Alright. I'll admit, he won this one. Not, not the game, he won like the personal battle between me and him. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I have to go out of my way to get this guy to kill me. Jesus. I mean, god, I, I might as well just stay here because if he actively tries to not execute me again, I, I need my respawn timer or my resurrect timer to go down. And that only happens if you go down repeatedly. Wow, this guy got a triple down. What the fuck? That's twice I've seen that today. That's crazy. If he didn't have the trophy, he just got it. What the actual? Who are these bots on my team that I'm playing with? How did they get hit by that? Here I am sitting there trying to get hit by it. And they just organically got hit by it. That's fucking disgusting. You guys make me sick. You guys make me fucking sick to my stomach! But hopefully no one comes to get me. That'd be nice. And if they do come, go get him first. Leave me the fuck out of it. I'm gonna try to crawl away from my teammates. No, I'm stuck! Oh my god. Please. No! Oh wait, there's hope for me. Yes! He went for that guy instead! Woo! I'm out! Peace! I'm free! And priority up by one! <laughs> All part of the grand plan! What a fucking animal this guy is. You get Raider? You know how fucking badly everyone else wants to play as Raider, and you get it, and this is what you do with it? Like, holy fuck, dude. Imagine getting Raider and just flying around like some kind of animal, not playing the game. Fucking ridiculous. Get fucking teabag, you waste of time, piece of shit, garbage animal. How dare you have fun in your own way? Playing 50 games as Raider is easily the longest grind in this game, and it takes so long to accumulate 50 games, because you'd essentially have to play 5 or 6 Survivor games in between each Raider game. So this took quite a while. Now leading up to my 50th game, I'm gonna show you a few of my most successful and most fun Raider games where I really went tryhard and had a really good time. And gameplay-wise, I performed extremely well, so I wanted to showcase those matches for you guys for your enjoyment. Because as I said earlier in the video, playing as the Raider is my absolute favorite thing about this game. It's so much fun, and I love showcasing my skill, so I hope that you guys enjoy these matches. Well, there certainly was not a lot of civilians here. I guess we're checking caves after all. And this is, uh... Taking a bit longer than I would like. Which is a little spooky. Not doing good on evolution. It's taking a lot longer than I'd prefer. Alright, finally. This is a late evolution. But, don't count me out yet. I just heard someone outside taking a quick looky-loo. 
Uh, shit, not ideal. Hmm, I hate chasing people around here, because it's really hard to get line of sight. It'd be ideal to... Okay, perfect. And... Why? Like, what is the point of that? Well, these guys are doing really good. Uh, this is going to be a hard game, I could tell. Well, I know what comes next. All his teammates are gonna gang up on me in their transformed state. No doubt about it. Although I'm surprised they're not all here yet. Nice one, Zarmon. Oh, this is going a lot better than I thought. They're they're not quite as coordinated as I thought they were going to be. Which is pretty cool. Uh let me just send out the goon squad real quick. Am I not in fucking range? Oh shit, I'm gonna change. This is gonna eat up a lot of time. Not ideal. Uh, a little spooky, actually. But I think they're all pretty scared of me. Nice. Oh wow, only two people left. Check for beacons real quick. Don't see any. Alright, I think now's the time to destroy this. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll destroy it until it's like a tick away, and then I'll destroy a plot of land. Looks like someone's gonna try and fight me. Okay, I won't be able to do my plan, unfortunately. But, 
Uh, I fucked them out of their form changes, so they can't stop me. Pretty cool. Nice! Wait, I didn't even realize I was the last guy. Oh, I didn't realize I killed the guy before that. Dope! Damn! Yo, they... Like, they absolutely had the resources to win that game. I feel like they were just slightly uncoordinated. Like, they were not getting enough reses off. It did seem like they were trying to work as a team. However, they just weren't doing it very well. They didn't res enough people, or maybe I just didn't let them, I don't know. Maybe I was doing a good job keeping pressure, but it seemed like they could have rezzed more people, because I feel like a lot of people that match died from, like, timeout and not being picked up. So obviously that could be prevented, especially if people have Senzu Beans, um, which I guess they just weren't finding them. And then besides that, like, there were... It took me so long to change to Form 2, like, longer than usual, and I noticed, like, almost every person on their team had Dragon Change. And at least, like, a level 2 version of it. So that was spooky, because they had the, the Time Machine available not long after that. And if they all literally just ganged up on me at the same time, that could have been catastrophic for me. But I, I was doing a good job, kill, like, uh, singling people out and taking them down. Um, and they, they couldn't, they didn't all rush me at the same time, which I was totally afraid that was going to happen, and then it didn't. So, shit! That was a, a hard-earned game, I would say. That was a good match. GG's. <laughs> These beacons are so far apart. Oh! Nice! I got so lucky spotting him here. Holy shit. He absolutely could have got away. 100%. <laughs> he absolutely could have got away. The the three last... The last three beacons... Yeah! Oh my god. Finally! Let's go, Platinum Breakers! Oh my god, that took so long. I'm free! And with that, after sinking 62 hours into this game, I was finally able to get all 50 of my Raider games, which was the last trophy I needed, and I finally earned that delicious Platinum. So was it worth it? Well, unless you have two people who agree to boost this game's hardest trophies with you, then FUCK NO! Because I don't see how anyone would ever platinum this game otherwise. And if someone has platinum to this game without any friends helping them, please let me know in the comments, because you're a fucking god gamer. And yeah, I originally wanted to get all the trophies organically and without having to boost them, but that just ended up seeming impossible after a certain point because some of these trophies are just insane to get without help. And I would potentially have to play hundreds more matches, hoping to God and praying that I can get the trophies completely through a stroke of luck. And needless to say, but that is completely no fun at all. Especially when a Platinum Trophy ends up taking double or triple the time longer than it should have because of poorly designed trophies or simply the fact that the trophies need to be earned in an online multiplayer setting, where it's just too much of a wild card to get them consistently. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all things trophy related. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to check out my full Platinum Experience playlist over on my channel for many more Platinum Trophy videos on other games. And if you really want to see me take on a crazy self-challenge, check out my Hollow Knight video, because that was one of the hardest things I've ever done in a video game. So you might want to give that a watch if you want to see me suffer some more. With that, I'm out. Take it easy, have a good one, and I will definitely see you in the next one.